So welcome to this week's sports nutrition tip. My name is Amy Culp and I'm your sports dietitian at the University of Texas. This week we're going to talk about what you need to do to stay prepared and have foods in your dorm room. I think that's one of the most challenging things being a new student athlete at the University of Texas is food and how you have access to it. You're limited on time, you're limited on budget, and you're limited in space. So by having foods that are easily accessible in your dorm room, they are going to fill you up and fuel you up. Make sure that they provide you with good nutrition and help you to stay satisfied during the day is really important as a student, as a student athlete. So one of those first foods that I want to make sure that you keep in your dorm room is some sort of nut butter. It could be peanut butter, it could be almond butter, it could really be walnut butter if you find that that tastes good and you can find it at the grocery store. The reason why I want you to have that in your dorm room is that it provides you with a good amount of protein, some good healthy fat, and it's very satisfying. You can put it on bread, you can put it on granola bars, you can put it on fruit, and it helps to make that perfect snack where you're getting a little carbohydrate from the fruit or the bread, and then you're getting some protein from the nut butter. Um, the other nice thing about it is that it lasts a long time, so you can have that in your dorm room. It doesn't take up a bunch of space, but it's not going to go bad very quickly either. The other thing that I want you to keep in your dorm room um, is another great source of protein, and that would be eggs. Eggs can actually be cooked in the microwave, which is one of the utensils that you have in your room that you can cook with. All you have to do is crack an egg into a coffee cup or crack it into a bowl, scramble it up, microwave it for a minute, and you have a nice scrambled egg that you can put on a piece of bread, that you can put in a tortilla. And eggs provide all the essential amino acids that you need uh, to keep your body running well and to keep your muscle mass up high. So make sure that you have good lean protein coming from eggs. They're also an inexpensive, inexpensive source of protein as well. The other thing I want to make sure that you have in your room is some source of whole grain cereal. I particularly like to keep oatmeal around because it um, lasts a long time. It's a great whole grain. It helps you to fill up um, and to feel satisfied throughout your day. But it could really be any whole grain cereal. It could be a cold cereal as well. I do have one rule whenever you're purchasing cereals um, from the cereal aisle, and that is if it has a cartoon character on it or it changes the color of your milk, it's probably time to find a new cereal because it's probably too high in sugar. So look for a different choice. Or again, you can use the oatmeal. You can put a dollop of your peanut butter in that oatmeal. You can make it in the microwave. You can get the instant packs. Just look for the kind that don't have sugar added to them so that you can add your own sugar or, again, add some milk to it or add some protein to it um, with your peanut butter. And you have a gr really great quick and easy snack or meal on the go. The other one that I would suggest that you keep in your dorm room would be some sort of dairy product. If it's milk, so you can make yourself some cereal, or if it's yogurt. Um, if you can't tolerate dairy, you could always do soy milk or rice milk or almond milk. Just make sure that they're the kind that have a little bit of extra protein added to them. Milk is an awesome recovery drink. If you drink chocolate milk, it's a wonderful recovery drink after workouts. But it's also just a great complement to your meals. It helps to really round out meals and round out snacks because it has a good combination of carbohydrates and proteins. And it also has um, a ton of nutrients in them which help your body to function properly, help you to get enough calcium for your bones, a little bit of vitamin D. So my other one would be milk or again you could do yogurt as a great snack that you could keep in your room. And then last but not least, I want you to have some sort of color in your room, whether that's a fruit or vegetable. You know, fruits that last a long time would be things like bananas or apples or oranges. Those are great to keep around for snacks. Again, if you add some peanut butter to it, that's a great combination of carbohydrate and protein. That's the perfect snack for you. You could also, instead, if you'd rather to keep vegetables in your room, um, in your freezer compartment, in your um, refrigerator freezer, you can keep microwavable frozen vegetables that come in individual packets that you can just heat up really quickly and have as a side with your sandwich um, for to make a nice complete meal. Uh, you could also keep baby carrots and some hummus. You just need some sort of color in your dorm room and color by meaning the more colorful fruits and vegetables are going to provide you with many more nutrients um, than, than foods that don't have a lot of color. And that color helps your body to decrease inflammation, helps you to get over your soreness a lot faster. And as a student athlete, we know that that's important because it helps you with all your workouts. Well, I hope you enjoyed the tips for this week, and I'll talk to you next week.